A creek is a place where a river meets the sea. The soil here is swampy and rich in salts. The creek gets filled with salt water during high tide and the water recedes during low tide. The level of oxygen in the soil is very low and the level of salts in the water is very high. Normal plants cannot breathe here and neither can they get nutrition or support. Can you think of the kind of plants that can survive in such an unusual creek and in such swampy soil? We are at such a creek in Mumbai. We can see many different plants and trees around us. How do they survive here? These are not ordinary plants. These are mangroves that are found in these conditions. Mangroves are adapted to survive here. Let's tour the mangroves today with the help of the forest department. The tide is low right now. The water has receded from the shore and innumerable creatures are feeding in the swampy soil. Crabs, snails, mud skipper, and many types of worms. We are waiting for the high tide. As soon as it's high tide, we get into the speedboat. A ride to see the mangroves from up close. In fact, mangroves are not a single species of tree or plant, but many types of trees and shrubs that grow in the swampy and salty soil at the confluence of sea and rivers. There are mangroves on both our sides right now. To survive in the swampy soil, mangroves have developed certain adaptations. Can you guess why the roots have spread so far here? It's difficult to even stand in the swampy soil. These roots are a special arrangement of the mangroves to give them support. These supporting roots are called prop roots. Different types of mangroves have similar networks of these prop roots. What is this coming out of the soil? These are roots too and these are specially adapted for breathing. This soil has very low oxygen levels. That is why these special roots come out of the soil. They have small pores and are called pneumatophores. The exchange of gases takes place through these roots. What is interesting is that during high tide, when the water level rises, these roots get submerged in the salt water. Now they cannot breathe. But during low tide, when the water recedes, these roots are able to breathe again. What are these white particles on the leaves? This is salt. That's a lot of salt in the water surrounding the mangroves. So some mangroves throw out the salt through their leaves. A unique adaptation to get rid of salt. In some mangroves, roots perform the function of protection from salt. They filter out the salt from water like a sieve. They prevent salt from entering the plant. In land plants, pollination in flowers is followed by seed formation. The seeds fall in the soil, germinate and give rise to new plants. Mangroves also bear flowers that pollinate. But is this swampy land suitable for germination of seeds? You're right, it's not. That is why a unique adaptation for reproduction can be seen in mangroves. In some mangroves, seeds do not separate from the adult plant. They germinate and grow on the tree itself. 
They only separate when they have grown for some time and are capable of living independently. These mangroves show a special arrangement. Like a pointed spear, this young plant enters the swampy soil and starts an independent life. In some species, the young plants float long distances and then take root in the swampy soil. The organisms that produce young ones are called viviparas. Similarly, the mode of reproduction in mangroves by which they produce young plants is also called vivipari. Our country has a long coastline. Thus, India is rich in mangroves too. Pichavaram in Tamil Nadu and Sundarbans in West Bengal are famous and rich mangrove forests in our country. For a long time, mangroves were cut down indiscriminately. They were considered useless plants. But this thinking changed in the year 2004. In that year, a tsunami destroyed many villages of coastal Asia. Everyone said that the destruction would have been less if there were mangroves. The good news is, according to the 2017 Forest Survey Report, the area under mangrove forests has increased in India. There are innumerable benefits of mangroves. Large animals cannot enter the network created by the roots. Thus, many marine animals reproduce safely here. The numbers increase. Scientists have found out that when the mangroves are protected and healthy, seas and rivers abound in fish. Mangroves provide many medicines as well as many useful products. Many birds and animals find shelter and food in mangroves. Mangroves can be called a coast guard forest because mangroves reduce the intensity of the waves that strike the coast. Their roots prevent soil erosion and keep the water clean. Hence, protecting the mangroves should be a responsibility of every person on earth. Now, a task for you. Today we observed and understood the nature of adaptations in mangroves. Now it's your turn to look around and identify adaptations in plants around you. If possible, make a video about them and share it.